Well, my wife and I just got back from the Habitat for Humanity store, and we go down there to look for household goods, and they often have tools. We were looking for some tile to help redo our bathroom, and I came across three cool things I wanted to share because I just love sharing good finds. This is my favorite. Uh, this is a, just a standard Ryobi 16-inch scroll saw. I haven't had a scroll saw in years. This is from uh, about 1994. And it is the model, oh, uh, it's over here somewhere. It's called a SC-160. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It's nice and heavy. Uh, it's got a nice iron solid table on it. The only thing that really matters is the clearance and the fact that it has, well, one beautiful thing is that it has blades, all the, com all the uh, wrenches, and when you turn it on, Runs beautifully. Cuts perfectly. And that was 65 bucks. And you know, I think that I probably could probably could have got a cheaper used one, but this is a high quality piece of machinery for what it is, and uh, it'll do the job. The second thing I got was a Dremel. Now, my old Dremel fell apart. It's a total piece of crap. I am so stoked on this one. This is a Motoflex. And uh, this one comes with. Somebody made a little table for it, as you can see, but with these Dremels, the cool thing is that the main unit just sits there, and then you can do all your work with the pen or whatever carving tool you decide to use. This was only seven bucks. Seven bucks. It came with all the instructions, um, several different bits, tips, all still in the package. Some polishing compound. And then this. This is the coolest thing I found in the day, and I actually almost passed it up. I said, no, I have to get this. This is just too cool. For seven dollars. And uh you open this up. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> it's just an old school Dremel. It's a crafty jack of all trades. It says accurate dr drilling, grinding, carving, polishing, engraving, Sears and Roebuck. This is one of the early models from the 1940s. So this is a 1940s Dremel tool. And yes, I plugged it in and it runs quietly and perfectly. And it came with all the bits, of course, which is nice. But one of the coolest things about this and something that you never see hardly with old tools like this is the original paper accessory tubes. And if you open this up, this one has some grinding tips, which is no big deal. I'm not too impressed with grinding tips. You can get those anywhere. But these are likely some of the original Dremel carving tools. And if you know anything about old tools, you know that the quality of steel has gone downhill dramatically <laughs> over the decades. And these are really cool because they're like, they're in, in wood, which is in paper. So they're like drilled out wood. And here's the last one. And it has a few more carving tips on it. So I just wanted to share my excitement because uh, I, I just love old stuff like this. I don't even know if these are the original bits that went in here. Probably not. It looks like uh, some of them were drill bits. But anyhow, uh, it also has all these other components over here and the wrenches and all the little components that go with it and in here in this cool little tube <laughs> it even has a pair ba boom i think these are bushings if i'm not mistaken and uh yeah so it's pretty much a complete kit pretty cool huh just one or two Put this back in here before I finish up, but do because I don't want to lose anything. Should we fire it up to see how it sounds? Let's do that. I'm gonna do this. Slink. And look at this old plug. Because <laughs> of course you want to hear how it sounds. Here we go. Probably expected it to sound really loud like a 1940s tool. I don't believe it or not. Stuff was made quality back then. 
And it looks like this handle is uh, removable, so you can opt to take it off. So, there's my daily find. Hope you enjoyed it. I sure do. Ha, <laughs>